Hi everybody, all my followers. Welcome to another video. And this video today is for the Maxi Seas 908P on, in this case, on a 2010 BMW F02. is a 730 diesel. So, sorry, 730LD with the 3.0 liter engine. And uh, that's gonna go. That's gonna see what the, the, the Maxi Seas can do on this car. So let's gonna start first, see if it detects the car like that, which I know it does. Okay. Okay, so when he asks to turn the ignition off, uh, the actually Maxi C turns the engine off and the ignition obviously. And you're gonna see he's gonna turn it back on again. There we go. I'm just gonna start the engine again so the battery doesn't go too low. And he's loading. He's ready the control units. Now um, I'm using the normal uh, OBD2 cable. I do have the Ethernet cable for this uh, for the F series, but uh, other than the programming, which is that one in there, you can do everything with this OBD cable. I won't be doing programming anyway, so I can just show you. So vehicle profile will just take you to the last screen. So programming is going to ask you to connect the cable. There we go. Um, and um, I've been there ready. And uh, you can pretty much update the, the entire car. So all the BMW softwares um, for the for the control units they are available on Hotel's website um, on uh, uh, Hotel server. So you can actually do a plan to upgrade the car and all that stuff. Uh, you can upgrade single control units. You can do car and key coding. Um, is not as good uh, as uh, as good is not as in is not um, as detailed as is for example ECs um, that I've done a video on this car ECs pretty much you can code absolutely everything uh, Max ECs gives you a few options very good options though from day running lights to uh, open uh, windows with the remote uh, folding mirrors um, a lot of stuff that you can uh, code with uh, with the maxi sys but ECs is much more detailed you can code much much more nevertheless uh, you can do programming as well code uh, program the entire car if you want so it's all in hotels server we're not going to go there, uh, it's pointless to go there. So we're going to go out functions. And that's pretty much what you have on out functions. Obviously, as you do know, a lot of this is a little bit of uh, shortcuts for, let's say, for example, that's all you can do. If you go, let's say battery, you can register a new battery. Brake bleeds. Electronic parking. Oil reset. DPF. Injectors. Steering. Suspension, throttle, and add lamps. And the service, that's what we have. 
So maintenance. Pre-check and delivery, private train. You can kind of figure out what you're going to be able to do from these menus. And after this we have diagnosis. Obviously we're going to do an auto scan. And we'll go we'll go from there. We're going to wait for the scan to finish. It's quite quick, I must confess. Uh, scanning the car. And under here, I'm not going to go through every single ECU uh, because there is a few ECUs on this car, obviously. And the menus, the options that you have on one ECU is pretty much the same on all the, all the other ones. So we found 33 modules, which is about right. And if we go into engine, this is the basic for every single module it is the ECU information, read codes, erase codes, then you have live data and active tests. That's it. Every single ECU is what you have. So diagnosis, requests, this is under the engine, and that's your live data. it then you have active tests and that's what you can do gearbox once again same menus the live data you have all this um, Under active tests, reset, and then the, and the general, you have clear adaptations. Under ABS, once again, the exactly same menu. And active tests, pump motor, that's it. Airbags, live data. Very good. You have some readings here, which is always good when you try to diagnose issues.
and active tests just reset control unit instruments that's it active tests reset and analog activations is just obviously swipe the needles and and all that electronic parking active tests reset control unit is all you have Cas. Oops, sorry about that. The menus are the same on pretty much every single one. So obviously here, you have a little bit more uh, live data, as you can see. So it shows you all the remotes. No key on this. So you have button status, or the central looking switch, of all this. So first signals. It's gonna it's gonna be a long video if I'm gonna be here going through every single You have the remotes, start and stop button, remote control, terminals, teletransmitter, tele started. Active tests, just reset control unit, basics. And everything else, guys, now. It's pretty much the same. It's the same menus on every single ECU. Obviously, the live data is different. Obviously, you have different live data on different modules, but it's quite basic. Even the ones uh, you have uh, is nothing like you know. Most of the active tests is reset control units. So there we go. Distance for the PDC, by the way. Parking distance control. Active tests. Reset and the general. Can activate and deactivate. And I know I know I'm gonna I'm not gonna go through the entire car there's 30 ECUs it's quite a lot to look at but for example here on the damper so only reset obviously that's going to be the same as that one FCD which is the the module for the interior lights and alarm so you have some Live data here. Active tests. Reset. Alarm system activation. So sirens. So the sirens and all that. Seat module driver. Live data. A little bit of um, stuff here.
tells you what's fitted on the on the on the seat or not. Active tests. So it gives you all the options, although there's no seat uh, ventilation or even seat uh, heating, I believe. But once again, on the combo box. That's it. Two tests. Reset. Bluetooth. You can do a little bit here. Quite self explanatory though. Uh, amplifier. Test speakers, test the woofer and reset. So damper, that's the same as we see it earlier. Seek. Uh, live data. A little bit of live data here. So, active tests. Uh, Trickson box. I doubt anyone is going to be right up to here watching this video, but. Active tests. So, active tests. And that's it, guys. I'm not going to go through everything, but uh, is is it's pretty much this. Uh, all the modules they have pretty much the same same menu, all the same. Uh, if you have any specific questions, that I might let me just look at the footwell. So once again, active test. See what I can do here. So that's it, pretty much. That's all you can do. Nothing major. Live data. So you have all these live data. There's a lot of live data, but but that's it. Guys, if you have any questions, uh, please put them across. Um, but uh, there's no special functions on these modules here, other than live data, a little bit of activation, like reset the control unit, and other basic stuff, nothing specific. Um, but it covers it very well. Uh, it does cover the programming which I've been in that menu with the proper cable connected and uh, it does the proper programming so it does the job um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna terminate this video here guys um, if, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, hopefully it will give you a better idea of what the Maxisys can do on, uh, on this BMW if you have any questions any comments please guys put them below and like always, thank you for watching.